Kevin Larina is synonymous with boxing. He's the reigning All-Africa Cruiserweight champion. Uh, and this weekend will go up against uh, Big Ben Marcel from the DRC in Cape Town at the heavyweight explosion tournament in the city. Few would know, though, that this cruiserweight prospect turned down a professional rugby contract with the Golden Lions and was once a budding young jockey. Now, how's that for interesting? He's in the studio with us this morning. Uh, good morning, uh, Kevin. Thanks for joining us, man. Good morning, Evan. Thanks for having me. And good morning to the team in South Africa. What, what, what an interesting guy you are. I, I mean... Tell us about the days. I want to start at the days where you're, I know you grew up in a horse racing family, but tell us about the days as a jockey uh, and, and, and how you, you must have outgrown it because you're huge. You know what? Uh, what happened was my family is obviously involved in horse racing. It's a very big name in horse racing. My two yeah. cousins are the top jockeys in South Africa. And yeah. what happened was growing up amongst them and rubbing shoulders with them, when I was a kid, all I wanted to be was a jockey. Yeah. And um, so what happened was my family... Everything was horse racing, horse racing, horse racing. We'd get home on the weekend and yeah. watch horse racing. We'd get home in the day and watch horse racing. And uh, eventually I started riding horses from the age of 10. Mm. Every day we'd get home from school, wouldn't do anything else besides ride horses with my cousins. And when I turned 15, I rode in an amateur race and I won it. And uh, when I turned 16, I shot up. <laughs> uh, I started becoming a man, we could say. You became, and, uh, to, be, you became to big. Tell me, your, your, your cousins, are they still giving you a stick about it or not? No, definitely not. Uh, now we're best friends, but the, back then, they'd give me a lot of stick. You're bigger than them now yeah. also. Uh. <laughs> Tell us about your rugby career because I'm very interested. You were, you were highly rated as a centre uh, at Kez and, and played for the, for, for the Golden Lions. Why did you turn down the contract? You know, I was very fortunate enough to go to a school like Kez, which is steeped in rugby tradition. And I played first team for Kez. And when I got out of school, I played under 19 Curry Cup for the Lions, which was also amazing. Uh, but coming from a family that I do, and my mother being a single mother, it was just hard, and it was hard for her to financially support me in my rugby career, you know? So I had yeah. to start working, and that's when I was fortunate enough to meet the Smith brothers. Funny enough, I started bouncing to make money. Yeah. That's what I had to do. And I turned pro with Peter, Sean, and George Smith, and mm. I haven't looked back. So I turned down the rugby contract because financially, it, it couldn't support me how yeah. I needed to be supported, yeah, to be quite yeah, honest. Yeah. Now this weekend's fight, uh, you're down in Cape Town at the Cape Sun. It's a nice venue. <clears throat> it's got a bit of Hollywood about it. You, you're fighting against a, a guy from the DRC, a big guy. He's known as Big Ben. Uh, how do you see that one go? Look, I mean, I respect all my opponents. I'm very grateful for the fights and the promotions. Uh, very grateful for Color Coda Promotions for putting the fight on. That's just another fight, you know. I take each fight step by step. Non-title, title fight, normal six-rounder. I respect everybody. He's got hands, he's got legs, just like me. So he's not a machine, he's just a human being. And I respect him, but when I get in the ring, I think we know that mutual respect is gone and I'm in there to beat him up and I've prepared and I've prepared hard. Now you're the All-Africa champion and, and here's the belt, uh, here's the belt to, to prove it. Just tell us how you won, how you won this belt and, and, uh, and where you are right now in your career and what your goals are going forward. Uh, I fought for this my last fight. I fought uh, Ibrahim Labaran from Ghana. This, is what, this was for the WBF All-Africa Cruiserweight title, so it's a division below heavyweight, so I had yeah. to cut a lot of weight to fight in that division. Um, I knocked him out in the second round. Yeah. Uh, he was very tough. I dropped him in the first round, knocked him out in the second round. Uh, like I said, I got a good team behind me, Sean Smith, Peter Smith, George Smith, all the boys. Yeah. We prepared hard, and like I said, we prepare each fight. We got a... We got, a, we, got a, we got a feature and um, we're picking our fights very carefully because, you know, when you start boxing, when you retire from the sport, you want to do well. Yeah. You want to be wealthy, otherwise you're wasting your time. Do you see yourself uh, stepping up into the heavyweight divisions in the, in the future and taking on someone like uh, one of the Klitschko brothers, maybe the younger one? Look, like I said, you know, the, the boxing is a hard sport. You've got to pick your fights very carefully, you know. It's all about being marketable and picking your fights, building that record. Yeah. So when you do get to the top, uh, you, you get yourself those big paydays. Um, yes, I do definitely see myself fighting the heavyweight division. I struggle to make cruiserweight. I'm six foot one, they six foot six, the Klitschko brothers. Yeah. But if you look at every other type of heavyweight, everyone's so was six Mike Tyson. three, six two. Mark Tyson was five foot ten, you know. Yeah. So it, it all depends on how you mold yourself and how you train and how you prepare. That, that makes the difference. Finally, I, I, I saw you with a white buffalo there. You, you must have been training with him. He's quite a character. Uh, I watched the fight when you gave Sonny Bull a hiding down yeah. under. What did you make of that fight? 
uh, Francois Boots, you know, he'll leave it for the last rounds. Legend in boxing, legend yeah. in South Africa. Uh, Sonny Boy was very lucky, um, but that's boxing, though. And uh, like I said, you know, Francois Boots is great to rub shoulders with him. I've sparred him before he fought Michael Grant, but um, I've trained with him once. I'm with Team Smith. Sean Smith's my trainer and manager. Yeah. And yeah, so that's, uh, that's what it's all about. Well, that's, that's fantastic to have you uh, with us here and, and all the best for the weekend. And uh, uh, we hope that, uh, you know, you step it up and make South Africa proud. Thank you. Uh, that's Kevin Lorena, a very, very interesting young man who uh, well, was once a jockey when he was younger, turned on a rugby contract and is now a champion boxer right here in South Africa.